shoulder locks are illegal in judo, but there have been a few occasions where it appears a match has ended due to an accidental shoulder lock and we'll have a look at a couple of examples in this video. So the first one, we're going to see a submission that's very similar to a position that's known in grappling as a thunder lock. That is when you raise your opponent's elbow and you take it towards their back above their head like you see now. Now in this case the Osai Komi, the hold down count is on. So she might have submitted just because she realized she wasn't going anywhere and the match was nearly over. But it may have been a shoulder lock. The next example I think is a stronger, more brutal shoulder lock. So here is an example of a thunder lock in a grappling competition. And we'll see something extremely similar in a judo match here. So her arm is trapped between her opponent's body and then now she's taken it behind the head and she's submitted and it's ruled a choke victory. You can clearly see from the re reaction that there was some issue with the shoulder coming out of that scramble. She did get revenge though and she was able to choke out this opponent in their follow-up meeting. Tomorrow's video will be about chokes and choke escapes and it'll be a good one. So see you then. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more non-stop Nuaza.